and welcome to another exciting IDDA event. Today we've got some unboxing to do. The launch of the IDDA scanner. And it's been a long time in the making and we are so happy with this little puppy. I can hope you enjoy it. It's Let's going to be revolutionizing the market. Yeah. Let's we'll see what's everything. going to happen. Let's, Let's see, see what we got in the box. Yeah. Let's have a look at what's inside the box. There we are. So, one of the best things that we worked with the companies that we worked with to get this, uh, both the hardware and software for a long time, we wanted a solution that would really work for the general dentist. This isn't designed to be the premium scanner, the top end things for you know various different aspects of dentistry. This is just for Joe Dentist to make sure he can digitize his workflow and making everything little aspect of yeah. dentistry easy. I think the focus of this is uh, it's an entry level scanner, lots of functions, nothing wrong with the scanner, it's actually very good, especially yeah. for the price that you pay. But also it has actually got a lot of functions and um, we were quite surprised when we started working with the company to develop this that they would include all of these functions. We thought it would literally just be a scanner to replace impressions but it's not just a scanner to replace impressions, it is a scanner to digitize your practice. And one of the most important things as well when you first take it out of the box is you see this beautiful travel case. Travel case. And we think that that's a really important thing. So what do we get? So let's open the box and find out. Da, 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 da. Q CGI intro <laughs> with gold inserts. <laughs> it's like Ark of the Covenant moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Inside the box, we have, obviously we've worked with Fossen on this, and this is a variant of the uh, S6500. Yeah. And everything that you see inside is a portable version of this with instructions here at the top. Uh, but more importantly, it's really simple, simple design of everything we've got. We've got the holder, we've got four tips, we've got the scanner, We've got the USB stick with all the software, obviously IDDA software in yep. there as well. Yep. Uh, and the power. But one of the main things that we changed with this is, let's take this out and have a look. And what do we have at the end of this, Q? USB-C. So that's it. That's your scanner. So we can then, shove that under that, uh, we can just plug that into a computer with USB-C, get to go, pop the tip on, and that is it done. Yeah. with this software installed uh, and we have obviously different size tips Patrick. Nice, nice variety of tips here from the really tiny one that we can use for those posterior molars that can be really difficult to reach or if you're scanning a child uh, so that's really nice and small almost the size of you know an Omnicam almost <laughs> up to a, <laughs> it's up, very small yeah up, up, size up. isn't everything well we also have a slightly larger size <laughs> yeah so uh, it comes with four tips. You've got the uh, basically just a progression of, of sizes of tips from smaller to bigger. Just clips on but nicely. Also, one thing to, to note with these tips is that they do have a electronic connection to the scanner and that actually heats up the look behind the little mirror so you have less fogging yeah. of it, which is, I mean, a great little feature in the scanner. It is well. really nice yeah. feature. Um, one other thing to point out, like Adam was saying, you can directly connect it to the computer, but you also, if your computer is not delivering enough power on the USB-C, you have the uh, little hub that you can connect it to, and you can connect it to power if you need to. And um, with the USB two connection as well, if we need to. Yeah. yeah. So if yeah. you want to, if you're on, using an older PC which is still high spec, then we still can also use options. that, yeah. and that will connect to USB-C into the top here with the power so that you can go straight to uh, the PC with extra power. Yeah. The manufacturer would actually recommend that just so that it's high power because there is variability in different laptops with the ability of mm. power to carry over on the USB-C. Yeah. Yeah. Higher spec always helps though. Higher spec always helps. Yeah. Um, other than that, you have obviously the... Nice little IDDA stand. Little IDDA stand there that we can hold the scanner on. And that's pretty much it. Mm. Um, okay, so what One else? thing that I don't see in here is a calibration unit. There isn't a calibration queue, is there? No, there's no calibration on this scanner. So what does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ease of use, I think, is the key. Yeah. No, it, 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 it self-calibrates, so yeah. you don't have to worry about calibration yeah. or anything on that. So it's a really, really nifty little scanner. Yeah. What I also really like with this is that it's nicely balanced and it just fits comfortably. You know, for it's not heavy. It's not heavy. It's not bulky at all. 
the cable is integrated so you're not going to get problems with breakages here with the uh, connection where the, where the cable comes in uh, and it's just really really nice and easy to use. But uh, saying that, just to add to that Patrick, if you do have a problem with the cable, uh, it is replaceable. So yeah. you unscrew the back here, you can take the cable out and then put a new cable in which mm. is it will be available on our website as well yeah. if that happens. Because but we have worked with other companies that don't have that. There are some that have a lot of problems with the cabling. Yeah, yeah. we know about those. Where we've been selling a lot yeah. of replacement cables, which yeah. is not much fun for anyone really. So no. this is a big improvement. Yeah. But the other thing that we wanted to make sure when we're doing this, because obviously this is a cost-friendly um, intro scanner for anybody getting used to digital, wanted to get into the market of being able to take a scan rather than impression. Yeah. Um, but the important thing that we wanted to make sure is we were working with a company that would have a good build quality. And I don't think you can argue with that. It is really beautifully made. Very, very so solid. Yeah. it's a solid piece of you know equipment, looks nice, the finish is good, everything is um, really well seamed. Some of the you know international scanners, I'm not gonna say where from, um, they can sometimes feel a bit cheap. This doesn't. So this is really nice, orange to go, click and done. But like yeah. Patrick said, it's a really good nice, size. light, yeah. good size scanner. Yeah simple small and get you going on your daily practice yeah, yeah. should we have a, should we do a separate let's come back to this with a pc we'll, yeah. and yeah. let's see how it scans yeah now we've loaded that up patrick we're going to do our scan yeah so we're going to do our scan we can see on the screen how we have the green tick saying that the scanner is connected and you have the lights here on the actual scanner body as well i've picked a fairly wide scanner head here doesn't really matter which one you prefer just so you get good access at the back of the mouth we're going to start with just clicking the button and that little beep indicates that the scanner is live and as we pass this over the teeth we see the live video here that patients always like to see but it's also really useful for yourself so you can see where you are we try and capture the occlusal surface first and just work our way around that arch uh, if you go too quickly you can sometimes lose traction so just try and make sure you have all the teeth in there go right to the posterior and then of course we want to go over to the edges we fill in all those interdental areas making sure we capture all that important detail that we might be after over the front teeth it's always interesting to make sure you tilt the camera a little bit so you can really get there and also around your preparation of course you might have to twist the camera around a little bit so we can capture all the interdental areas so we're going to go around the back edge of these back teeth first and then we'll come back to our prep in a moment the other thing to keep in mind with this scan i mean that's a really nice scan look at that these days, we know a lot of dentists, associate dentists especially, which really this is geared for, not the principal of the practice who's just buying one piece of kit. This is for, like we said, everyday dentists mm. to be able to carry this around, have it so that they've got everything in one case, ready to go for their clinic that they yeah, move around to. if there are multiple sites. You know, you can yeah. easily take this with you, bring it into any work location and just plug it in and use it. 